Hello everyone, today we will talk about one of the classification of antifungal agents, the systemic agent. Systemic agents are used to treat fungal infections of the internal organs of the gastrointestinal tract. Some of these may be helpful in the treatment of dermatomycosis via blood and intercarotene producing cells in the skin. Also, it is used to treat psoriasis if the disease is too expensive or refractory to treatment with topical therapy and phototherapy. The first example is the polyene antifungal antibiotics, such as amphotericin B, nestatin, and natamycin or pemaricin. Amphotericin B is obtained from a strain of Streptomyces nodosus and is active against a wide range of fungi. It is the principal drug to be used against deep-seated systemic mycotic infections despite its toxicity. Amphotericin B is an amphotheric polyene microlide that's water-insoluble and unstable around 37 degrees Celsius. Its antifungal activity is highest between pH 6 to 7.5 and decreases as pH falls below that. One of its mode of action is it binds to ergosterol, the primary sterol in fungal cell membranes causing holes and cell content loss. So in animals, this serves as an immunostimulant. So in cholesterol, it is similar to ergosterol and polyins bind to it as well, though with a lower affinity. As a result, ampothericin B is one of the most toxic antifungal antibiotics taken systematically. It is a broad-spectrum antifungal antibiotic fungicidal, active against blastomycosis, heptoplasmosis, coccidiomycosis, candidiasis, cryptococcosis, and sporotrichosis. And it is not effective against ringworm. Its pharmacokinetics is it does not absorb an oral administration and is administered as IV infusion. Its half-life is more than 20 hours. Also, only a small portion of urine is excreted. A lipid-based formulation is being developed to reduce toxicity. It has a renal toxicity that could lead to acute tubular necrosis. So, in dogs and cats, nephrotoxicity develops within 3-4 to four weeks of starting treatment. In administration, there are two basic regimens have been suggested for treatment of systemic mycosis in dogs. The first regimen is for healthy dogs, 0.5 mg per kilogram IV every 48 hours with band monitoring. So the total dose is given over 1 minute in 20 ml of 5% dextrose. It is continued for 6 to 12 weeks. And for the second regimen, in debilitated animals, an initial dosage is 0.2 mg per kilogram IV, increasing by 0.1 mg per kilogram daily until day 4. Then use the maintenance dose which is the 0.25 mg per kilogram every other day. The next example is the nestotin that is obtained from Streptomyces norsi. Its antifungal action and other properties are similar to amphotericin B, but because of higher systemic toxicity, its usefulness is limited to treatment of candida infections of skin. So unlike amphotericin B, nestotin is not absorbed orally. The last example is the natamycin or the pyramicin. It is obtained from Streptomyces natalensis, and it is a effective against a wide range of filamentous and dimorphic fungi and yeast and is used for local application against ringworm and in the other of mastitis and on ice. For the treatment of candida mastitis, 20 ml of 2.5% solution or 10 ml of 5% solution is given for 3 days. And for the treatment of filamentous fungal keratitis in horses, one drop of 5% suspension every 1 or 2 hours, decreasing to 6 or 8 times daily after a few days is given. Natamycin is toxic if given orally. The next type of systemic agents is the azoles that has two clinically important members, the imidazoles and the triazoles. Imidazoles has two classification. First is the topical that is composed of clotremazole, 
econazole, and meconazole. The second one is the systemic that is composed of ketoconazole and thiabendazole. This is the triazole that is classified as systemic that is composed of fluconazole and etraconazole. It is a newer class of synthetic antifungals that are less harmful and effective when taken orally. It exhibits broad spectrum fungistatic action, which includes dermatophytes, candida, and certain systemic mycosis. They inhibit the enzyme lanosine 14 alpha demethylase from converting lanosterol to ergosterol in fungi, which is the main sterol in the fungal cell membrane. Ketoconazole is one of the examples of imidazole. It is first orally effective broad-spectrum antifungal drug and is useful in both dermatophytosis and deep systemic mycosis. It is also effective in the treatment of dermatophytosis as an alternative to grasofulvin and also very effective in histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, coccidiomycosis, cryptococcus, and mucocutaneous candidiasis. It is less potent but less toxic than ampotericin B. After oral administration, gastric acidity facilitates absorption. It causes microsomal enzyme inhibition and thus metabolism of many drugs and also inhibits steroidogenesis. This causes gastrointestinal disturbances, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, itching, increase in le liver enzyme especially in human. It could also give hormonal and reproductive disorders, inappetence, pruritus, alopecia, reversible lightening of hair, and cataract severe hepatitis in dogs. For ringworm treatment, 5 to 10 mg per kilogram given orally daily for 4 to 6 weeks. And for the treatment of systemic fungal infections in dogs and cats, 10 mg per kilogram every 12 hours is given. Next is the etraconazole, an example of triazole. It is the most potent azole and for its pharmacological properties is similar to ketonazole but wider range of antifungal activity and less toxicity. It has a broad spectrum including aspergillus that is available for oral and IV administration. Next is the fluconazole that inhibits lanosterol 14 alpha demethylase, which prevents the formation of ergosterol. It is a water soluble, weakly protein bound, well distributed, useful in treatment of yeast infection in CSF. With amphotericin B, oral and systemic treatment of candidiasis in human. Cryptococcal meningitis in AIDS patient. And for dog, candida, coccidiodis, and cryptococcus. It has limited efficiency against blastomycosis and aspergillosis.